Hey guys, I figured I would take a break from cleaning and arranging my room and talk to you guys about um, Ted Williams. Um, as some of you, I don't know, if you guys haven't heard about this guy, Ted Williams, the homeless guy who, with a golden voice, oh, he is unbelievable. And my thoughts are... Since everyone's making fun of him now, because, oh, you know, he was a drug addict, he was an alcoholic, and then he turned, he lost everything. He lost his family, he lost his friends, he lost his job, he lost his home, blah, 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 blah. And now he's on the streets, he's got poofy hair, hair, <laughs> and someone discovered him and put him on YouTube, and I saw that the original video for it was flagged and then it was it had to be taken down which really sucks because it got over three million views three min million views can you imagine and when I first heard his voice I was just like whoa and then after they discovered him and cleaned him up and now he's got jobs lined up for him that's awesome and for people saying you know he out cheated and he only wanted to do this and he's getting back to his mom and blah 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 well I'm sorry I think that's beautiful a guy who has a voice and a talent like that should Get a job, should get jobs lined up for him and all that. And it hurts me how people are making mockeries about him and saying, "Oh, that must be Obama's half brother." Blah 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 blah. You know, if I had a talent like that, I don't know what I would do. And. People shouldn't criticize other people's talents and the way they look and how their lifestyle was. Okay, I live in a middle class, I should say. Middle class kind of features about myself. Um, I, I will admit to you guys on here on YouTube, I have ADD, if you don't know what that is, it's Attention Deficit Disorder, and I also have OCD, which means Obsessive Compulsive Disorder, and with those both, it's hard to focus on a job, so that's why I have my own privately owned photography business of my own. And I can get a job, but it's hard to focus on a job. I've had jobs, and I was really good at it because um, they were all organization kind of jobs. Like, when I was 19, I worked at a wholesale um, nursery that you put all the plants into these planters and they're all shipped like to Walmart or to corporate stores like um, Rite Aid or um, Walgreens and you see these planters. Well, I did them all. I planted them all, all those flowers and they were all organized. And the other job I had was when I was 20 and I was working at REI. And REI is a recreation, um, basically, store. They do camping supplies, camping, supp camping supplies, hiking supplies, rock climbing, wall climbing, all that kind of store. If you don't know what it is, look it up. And that was easy for me because I had to organize clothes by style, clothes by color to size. And I could do that because, if you see my closet, it is so organized. 
that it's inch <laughs> I have them organized all by inches by inch apart and they're all on a white hanger so it was easy for me and with being with my photography it's easy for me because I could sit there and focus and categorize my photography in black and white sepia color and high-speed color so I could see where this guy was coming from you know he was, had it you know a rough life I had a rough life you know my parents struggled with jobs and I see a lot of people struggle and you know it's like winning the lottery he actually like woke up and he was like an instant millionaire and I think and my thoughts don't criticize anybody no matter what they do they love what they love and they got what they got made you know they're doing what they're doing they're doing what their dreams are so don't criticize someone's dreams and hopes and that goes for bullying too please don't bully anybody you know they're trying to make it big in their world look at me I'm starting to do YouTube. You know, I had a YouTube until my ex basically said kiss off and deleted mine. So that's why I'm basically starting, restarting a whole new vlog. So don't criticize people's dreams and hopes. And, it, you know, encourage them instead. So that's my vlog for today about criticizing and dreams so dreams should be up here criticize should be down here I mean I know there's good criticism and bad criticism but do encouragement and, cri and criticism instead of you know, putting them down because then they want to give up so I hope you guys do see that, did see that, did or do see that Ted Williams, the man, the, uh, the homeless guy with golden voice, so check him out if you haven't already. So, I am going to go finish up organizing my room, like I said, I've got my OCD, speaking of the OCD, i got to finish my room, so I will talk to you guys later.